Welcome to the fourth section of this volume, Windows. This section will cover everything you need to know to generate proper packages on Windows. We will start by covering the traditional NCs installers. Then we will cover portable versions, which can provide you a standalone .exe file that requires no installation at all, and that you can run from USB drives, for example. Afterwards, we will see how to get a code signing certificate, and we will see how to make use of it on Electron Builder. Then, we will cover how to generate Windows App Store packages, and finally, we will see how to configure Windows builds on AppBayer CI, so you can easily perform automated Windows deployments. Welcome to the first video of section number four, Building NCs Installers. In this video, we will see how to generate NCs installers for a Windows Electron application, and how we can tweak some of the options Electron Builder provides us for this task. NCs installers are probably the most common way to distribute Windows applications, and you probably encounter them dozens of times. They usually start with a license agreement section, like you can see in this slide, and then you click next a couple of times to install the app. The cool thing about Electron Builder is that it supports the concept of NC's one-click installers, which are basically a modern version of installation wizards where you click agree and everything gets set up without user intervention. Let's see what it takes to build an NC's installer for our digital clock application. The first thing I did is convert the application icon we've been working with to ICO format, and I put it inside the assets directory. I also added a license file in the root of the project. This project is licensed under Apache 2.0, so I copied that license here. We'll see why that's necessary in a second. Let me show you my package.json file. I added a win section which contains a target property that includes NCs to tell Electron Builder that it should build an NCs installer and set the icon property pointing to the ICO file I just showed you. I also created an NCs section containing various properties. The installer icon and uninstaller icon, as you can tell, let you customize the icon of the installer and uninstaller applications. I'm using the same application icon here, but you could tweak them if you wish. The license property takes a path to the license file. I put that file in the root of the project so I can set license here. When an NCs installer starts, the first thing it will show to the user is the license agreement. So by pointing Electron Builder to this file, we're telling it to show this file as is. Finally, the run after finish boolean option determines whether the installer should open the application by default upon completion or not. This is a common practice, so I will set this to true. Now that everything is configured, let's run npm run dist, and once that's done, open the generated installer inside the dist directory. As mentioned before, what you see here is the contents of the license file we configured before. Once we click Agree, the whole installer will go on its own. And finally, given that we set Run After Finish to True, the application will start. Let me show you how NC's uninstallers work. I will open the Settings Windows 10 application, go to the System section, click Apps and Features, and scroll down a bit. We can see that our installer added an entry for our application here. It shows the name of the app and the version, and also the author, which was taken from the author property of package.json. Uninstalling the app is really simple. We can click Uninstall, Confirm, and Done. In this video, we saw what NC's one-click installers are. We saw how to set different icons for the installer and uninstaller applications, and finally, 
we saw these modern installers in action. 